Here comes the get down, get down. The get down, get down. What's going on, everybody? I'm here at the airport in Atlanta drinking coffee out of my small cup. I tried to find a uh, space here where there was a, one of a ton of people and uh, I found a decent spot. So, hope everybody's doing well today. Interesting topic today. Normally my uh, talks take on a, uh, a motivational tone and this will, this will be motivational as well. But I read something, something that somebody, and I'm not gonna give out details of who said it because I don't want anybody to go over there and say ugly things. Say ugly things. Not that you would, but it's really not the point uh, of who said it. it. It was a younger guy who said it, though. And what he said was, he says, if if Christianity wants to remain relevant in the next thirty years, we're going to need younger pastors. And I found that to be such an interesting comment that if we're going, if Christianity is going to be relevant in the next 30 years, we're going to have to have younger, uh, younger pastors. And I don't know if I, uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure I don't agree with that. And I know what he was saying. Good morning, Nancy. Uh, I know what this young man was trying to say who said it. And uh, it's nobody I know. It's just a, a random comment that I saw. And what I saw was a young man who was saying, look, that, that the church, the modern day church, he wasn't, I don't, I don't think he was talking about Christianity. I think he was talking about the modern day church, that if the modern day church was going to thrive, it needed younger pastors. And I don't know, <laughs> that's right, giving them a free plug here, even though they canceled my flight this morning. Um, so anyway, so here's my thinking on this, and this, this may uh, freak you out or, or not, but I don't know, I, I don't know if, well, I'm pretty sure God is not relying upon the modern church to advance or to make Christianity relative or relevant in the next 30 years. Uh, I don't know if he's banking on. I don't know if God has pushed all his chips to the front and says, "Okay, I gotta have some younger guys preaching from the pulpit." And uh, I just thought, I just, I just think it's such an interesting question, and it's something that, um, it's something that is. It tells me it's, a, it's something cultural. Once again, a young man said it, and so I think that's somewhat of a general. Maybe a general feeling. Uh, if you're younger, by the way, if you're watching this and you're younger, please feel free to chime in uh, on that comment. And for those that may be joining late, uh, let me tell you again what the comment was. The comment was made that if Christianity was going to be relevant in the next 30 years, the church was going to need younger pastors. And uh, and I think I've, I think I'm pretty settled on the fact that God is not pushing all His chips to the front based on the age of somebody. I do believe God is hoping for obedient to people. So here's here's you know because I think I think obedience. Good morning, Cameron. Um, I do believe that. Uh, Youthfulness plays a part, but obedience plays even a greater part no matter what age you are. That listen, if you're, if you're, uh, you know, I, I don't think, as somebody who, by the way, is reaching uh, next year, mid-century, and still working with young people, and young people still show up, not necessarily because of me, but, but, but because I can still be relative and relevant to, a, um, to another generation. Um, I don't know if they need Cameron. You, Cameron. Um, um, yeah, Nancy. I would say fresher ideas, but I, I don't see why older people can't have fresher ideas. 
See, again, I think that's my point, that fresh ideas and new ideas do not necessarily need to come from younger people because I think fresher ideas can come from older people because their well is deeper and they've been, gone through a bunch of experience. They have had the privilege, uh, they have had the privilege of seeing what doesn't work. Whereas younger people haven't reached that point yet. And, uh, and so I think, I think fresh ideas can come from anywhere. Um, to ER last night. Breathe. Oh, definitely we'll pray for that, Cameron. Cameron, let me ask you a question. How old are you? You need to tell me this. Tell me how old you are, because uh, you're, you're maybe the youngest person watching this, unless uh, at least you're the youngest person commenting, I should say. Uh, but tell me how old you are, because I'm going to pick your brain here for a second. Uh, once again, I didn't care that, okay, you're 27. What do you think about that statement, Cameron? For Christianity to be relevant in the next 30 years, do you think the solution is younger pastors? Is that how Christianity is going to keep going? Um, <clears throat> so I, I'd like to get your opinion on that. Do you think the answer to that question is younger pastors? Uh, and anybody who's watching, by the way, if you're watching this in the future, please leave your comments. I would love to hear your thoughts on the subject. Uh, but once again, somebody who's approaching and reaching mid-century, I don't think there's anybody that I can't reach because of age. I can reach 80-year-olds, and I think I can reach a 10-year-old uh, based on communication skills. <laughs> Sorry, Ginger. Sorry. Um, and I, I don't know if it's an internet problem here or somewhere else, but... Let me just continue on, and hopefully, maybe it'll all wash out in the end. You guys can watch the watch the um, the video later. Um, but I, I, like I said, because I because I think God's gifted me with certain skills and abilities, things like that. I think <laughs> are you saying, Cameron, that I cannot relate? Are you saying that I can no longer relate to a 15-year-old or a 18-year-old or a 27-year-old? And, and, <laughs> well, then that, but then Cameron, you've just, you've just, you know, you've just countered back on your, uh, <laughs> you've just countered back on what you said before. You can't say yes to that the church needs younger pastors. And then go back and say, yeah, but if you can reach them, you can reach them. Well, okay, you, yeah, right. You've seen, you've seen me do stuff. You've seen me reach an audience or reach a, a group of people. But what's true for me can be true for other people. So it's, I don't think it's necessarily about younger pastors. I think it's about what Nancy said about fresh ideas. And I think you can be 80 years old and have a fresh idea. I think you can be 100 years old and have a fresh idea. Uh, I don't think youth has the market on fresh ideas. And so that's kind of the point I'm making uh, because I think that may be a prevalent idea. Hey, Michael Black. Um, I think that's the point I'm making. I don't think necessarily it's about how young you are in age. I think it is about your openness to what the Holy Spirit communicates to you. And I think it's about uh, having fresh ideas, learning new things, having an open heart to new and fresh ideas. And so um, I don't think Christianity hinges on whether or not we have younger people communicating. Right, Ginger, absolutely. It's, it is availability, but it also, I think it also, listen, I think it also matters about skill. You know, I think there had, you know, I think in communication and things like that, listen, there's been people, Moses, Moses wasn't great. He wasn't a great communicator. He did okay. Uh, right, absolutely. Right, I, right, right. But that goes back to, but that goes back to the original question, Nancy. It goes back to the original question that, that I didn't, I didn't get here. It's not just about gifts. It is about skills. It is about refreshing your own. What I do, 
with young people, anybody can do in their own field to be able to have a fresh thought. And it doesn't matter what business they're in, it doesn't matter what, you know, if your availability, just like you said, availability and obedience. I'm gonna put obedience in there because that's kind of critical. You can get better at what you do if you're open to it. If once you say this is how it's done and there is no more, then I think that's when the pool starts growing stagnant. Once you say this is how we do church and church no longer and this is it, then then you're in trouble. But you and I as believers can take fresh approaches all the time. I remember back in the day where, where everybody was all hot about things like evangelism explosion or using the four spiritual laws, if you remember those. And uh, I think we can all have a fresh thought. I think, and I don't think, once again, I'll, I'll go back and say, I don't think Christianity hinges the propagation of the gospel. I don't think that hinges on the youthfulness. I think it hinges on availability, obedience, and building your skills, having fresh thoughts and fresh ideas to to put into something. And so, uh, but that's my little chat today, guys. I don't wanna take up all your time this afternoon, but I just thought it was an intriguing question. Uh, I thought it was a, um, uh, it makes me wonder whether or not a lot of people out there, young people especially, think that way, where it says, oh, listen, our church would be more successful if we had a younger pastor. No. You can have a young pastor and have no fresh ideas. You could have a young pastor and him be so old school, he just following in the in the steps of whoever he's following. And uh, and so let's all just keep ourselves fresh. Let's keep ourselves open uh, to doing what the Holy Spirit asks us to do. Let's be available. Let's be um, obedient, and uh, and let's keep ourselves fresh. If we can do those three thing three things. God will take care of the rest. God will take care of his church. God will take care of those things. And remember, for every, for every modern, modern church, um, for every modern church there is, and I don't care whether it's the big church, the 10,000 people church, or whether it's the small church of 100 people or less, which is the majority of churches in America, are 150 people or less, that makes up 90 to 99% of the churches in America, the fact of the matter is this, it doesn't matter the size of the church, for every one of those churches, there is a bunch of other believers out there in the world, like in China, like in, uh, uh, in North Korea or uh, other places where there is no modern church. There's underground church. There's, uh, there are no, there are, they're, meeting, they're meeting secretly in places. And guess what? The gospel is going forward without lights, without music, without uh, big things going on, without, all, it's just simple people being available, being obedient, and thinking fresh. And that's what they're doing. So, all right, guys, that's it for today from the Atlanta airport. Thank you guys for hanging out. I uh, appreciate you guys being here. I will, uh, you guys will see some more video uh, soon uh, when I get to camp. Uh, I'll do some video of our retreat there, talk to some young people. Maybe I'll do a little poll with them and see what they think. See if that is an undercurrent in our society. So do they think that Christianity can only succeed if young people run the church? So, uh, hey Patrick. That's okay, buddy. You can go back and watch it. I, I want your comments. I want your comments, Patrick. Just go back, watch the video, tell me what you think, and do it up. All right, guys. Have a great day, everybody. If you happen to be a youth pastor, by the way, you can go visit my website at thedisciplesproject.net and uh, check out free resources there. And uh, until then, guys, uh, pray for my next leg of the journey here, and uh, I'll catch you guys when I reach Florida. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Here comes a get down, get down. Get down, get down. Here comes a get down.